So number eight then from the 2015 Advanced Higher Maths, a little three mark question. What we've got here are a pair of parametric equations and you have to obtain dy by dx. Well, of course, y isn't expressed in terms of x, so you can't find dy by dx directly. You'll have to find dy by dx by finding first dy by dt and then multiplying that by dt by dx. A general. So we could find both of these straight away here and there'll just be a mark for each of those. So for this one, dx by dt will be, you know, you can put it in dx form if you like, but you know that's power a half. So it's multiplied by the power, so it'll be a half times it. Take one off the power, it'll be negative a half. So with a half times it and a negative half, they're both underneath. So it'll be two, 1 over 2 root t plus 1. Go be the root of power a half if you like. But that is also just one mark. This is even simpler, as long as you can remember it. The derivative of cot is negative cosec squared. So it'll be negative cosec squared t. That's a mark. You didn't even have to work anything out. So when we've got this then for dy by dx, you've got dy by dt, which is that, negative cosec squared t, and you've, now dt by dx will be the reciprocal of this, so that'll just be times 2 root t plus 1, and you're there. It's just a case of how would you like to tidy that up? Well, I think I'll put this bit in front and make it negative 2 root t plus 1 of cosec squared t. And that's the third mark. Unless, of course, you'd like to see a little friendly face here instead of this cosec, and write instead negative 2 root t plus 1 over sine squared t. Ah.